They may not use words, but babies sure know how to get our attention. However, if your baby's cries just won't stop, that may be a sign that the colic is the result of a bigger problem. In babies with persistent fussing, ruling out illness is essential, as we explain step by step. If your newborn has a fever, you got to take it seriously and call the doctor without delay. The younger they are, the less prepared their immune systems are to fight off infection. Don't depend on touch alone. The best way to check your infant for a fever is with a rectal thermometer. A temperature of 98.6 Fahrenheit is considered normal for us, but babies run a little bit warmer. So for newborns, fever is defined by a rectal temperature of 100.4 degrees or higher. For older infants, easy to read digital oral or ear thermometers are fine, but mercury-filled glass thermometers are no longer recommended. And head strips, while convenient, may not be fully reliable. It's also very important to understand babies can be sick without having a fever. If irritability turns to agitation or lethargy, if there's vomiting or diarrhea, if you see signs of rash, head or body swelling, or notice blood in the urine or stool, call the doctor right away. Babies don't have strong immune systems and can get very sick very fast. So it's always better to be safe than sorry. Your doctor may need to examine your child in the office or emergency room and do x-rays and tests of the baby's blood, urine, and even spinal fluid. They may also recommend you change your baby's formula or change your diet if you're breastfeeding. All of these help the doctor to evaluate your baby for illnesses such as infection, intestinal blockage, food allergies, or other conditions like heart problems that are rare but can be very serious. You don't want to accidentally mask a serious problem, so please never give your baby medications or drops for pain or fever relief without first consulting your pediatrician. Crying need not spell crisis. The vast majority of fussy babies are just homesick for the five S's. Those are the symphony of sensations that constantly calm them in the womb. And I'll talk about these simple soothing techniques that all babies crave just ahead, step by step. For WebMD, I'm Dr. Harvey Karp.